Uh, so chapter 17. So these two chapters basically we discuss about diagnosis. So diagnosis, the first important part for TTM is the pulse. So this chapter, we're talking about the pulse first. Uh, like what time is a good time to take the pulse. That's basically we are in this chapter discuss. So the form still Huang Di asked. So Huang Di asked how to take the pulse. So that's the question. And the Qi Bo answer. Talking about the time first. The best time to take the pulse is the morning time. So why we best time to take the pulse in the morning? Because like everybody just get up, they are not. So that should be Yang Qi here. Uh, yeah, yin qi is not dispersed, yang qi is not consumed. So we know in the yin time, yeah, in the yin time, like in the night, menle is yin qi holding or control inside the body. So in the daytime, it's the yang qi. So during that time, like yin qi is still in there, not totally go away yet. And the yang qi not used yet. So like a pretty quiet time, yeah, pretty quiet time. And also what others affect the pulse, food. If patient take the food and will affect the pulse, quality of the pulse. So food not taken yet. And uh, we're talking about the meridians and not have too much yang qi go to there yet because we are not moving. So meridians and cholesterols is pretty quiet there. It's not too much qi moving there yet. And in that time, qi and the blood, like not a tuberate, it is circulation in normal order. So that's the by the time we take the pulse. So in other words, if we if we take the pulse in the early morning, basically if any abdominal pulse is easily can find it. That's basically answer for the morning. I think in the West medicine, we have the similar idea. So in West medicine, we're talking about still take the body temperature in the morning. Uh, we're talking about the last basic uh, metabolism read. It's better take in the morning time, like a body temperature and the pulse and even blood pressure. So that's basically, we are not moving yet. People just get up. That's the time is easily find the people. Their pulse is no more or abdominal. So in the same time, in the same time, when we checking the pulse, we also looking patient's spirit, like a patient's shen. We talking about how we can looking patient's shen. 
that's an important part we look in the shen from the eyes. And we also look in the color of the face. So we say whatever natural patient color of the face, they should be moist. And uh, like the color holding inside is not totally show up. We go to next chapter. We especially talking about the color on the face. And in this way, we can know their zhangfu organs functions. It's healthy or abnormal. We say different organs illness. Their face show up will get some different color. So that's we say we check in the pulse and we look in patient's spirit or shen. We look in the color, put together combinations. Thus we know like how the patient get illness or maybe they have illness already. They could be curable or maybe die in the future. Like how severe of the illness. So that's we still talking about we have four way diagnosis. So here didn't the including us the question part, just the physical examination part, looking or inspection, like looking the face. We didn't talk about looking the tongue here. But the truly clinical level also need to look in the tongue. And the smelling and the hearing, that's our basic uh, diagnosis way. And the looking certainly including the shen. And the palpation. We're talking about the palpation here. Men is the pulse, but the truly clinical we also can palpation, like if some people have some masses in the body part. And the plus ask a question or inquiry. So that's our TCM four way diagnosis. So, in other words, in this page, tell us when we make a diagnosis, we are not only take the pulse. Same time, we're looking patient's color, we're looking patient's shen, and then we know how severe of the illness. The illness could be curable or maybe will be died. The pulse, yeah, the pulse is the blood flowing specially go to there. And the blood control by the qi or moving by the qi. Yeah. Qi moving, blood moving. So if the pulse, we say long pulse, when we talk here about the pulse, we have Tsun Guan Chi position. Yeah, Tsun Guan Chi position. When we talk here about the long pulse, we can feel the pulse even longer under the Chi, sometimes above the Tsun. That kind of pulse we call long pulse. Long pulse means the qi and the blood flowing is pretty strong or peaceful there. And the short pulse, short pulse means 
We may only feel the pulse in the guan position. We couldn't feel the pulse in the chun position or chi position. So that's qi disorder. Qi not moving, blood not moving. Maybe qi deficiency. Maybe something blocking qi. Qi now couldn't move into that area. So thus we say the pulse, we also feel the quality of the pulse. And then we talk about rapid pulse. Rapid pulse is heat. The heat inside pulse jumping faster. And the large pulse, yeah, large pulse. Large pulse here means overflowing. Yeah, overflowing. Overflowing, over strong. That means the illness getting like more severe compared with before. The condition we can think about like usually excessive condition. Yeah, whatever excessive heat or maybe excessive cold. The pulse jumping is more stronger than in there. So that's we can thinking about, like especially we compare, we compare the pulse before is not that stronger. Right now it's over stronger jumping there. So that means the illness getting more severe, getting more severe. So we talk about the body zheng qi, fighting with evil qi. If body zheng qi is strong and the evil qi is strong, that kind of condition, the pulse jumping more stronger there. That means our body zheng qi more fighting there, evil strong. But truly, when body zheng qi is weaker, pulse will not that large. So that's the condition, excessive condition, but body zheng qi, it is strong in there. And then talking about the different location of the pulse, like more strong in there. If the pulse more stronger than in the upper. That's a short of breath patient usually have. So we're still talking about the Chun Guan Chi position. Like that's Chun Guan. We say right side is the lung, spleen, and the kidney yang, Newman. Left side is the heart, and the liver and the kidney. That's left side, that's right side. So if we're talking about the pulse most stronger in the upper position, basically both twin position. That means the upper jaw disorder. Upper jaw, lung, and the heart in there. They have disorder, especially for the lung. Short breath. 
hard issue, like a hard qi deficiency, still can cause the short breath. So that's talking about here, if in the upper position, if we feel the pulse, over stronger there, over strong, over jumping there, or maybe we compare with other position, it's too strong in there. It's upper gel disorder. It's upper gel disorder. The same idea, the same idea, if too stronger in the low position, means qi position, qi position. Too stronger in the qi position, that's basically lower gel disorder. So we know qi position usually we only talking about the key. But other organs in lower gel, if they have some troubles, still cause the lower gel pulse stronger there. Usually we talking about the key. Usually it's defensive problems. It's not excessive problems. So lower gel over stronger jumping there usually will be full organ disorder. Not necessarily go to some organs, maybe bladder disorder, some gynecology problems still belong to lower gel disorder. And the people maybe feel some painful in there or maybe feel it in there. So that's basically from the pulse location, we separate upper gel and the lower gel. And then they mention uh, another pulse they call Dai Pao. The, the words they used may be a little bit different is with the words right now we use. So Dai Pao's in Huang Di Neijing means some slowly, irregular, and uh, intermediate pulse that's right now we use. In Huang Di Neijing, they didn't especially talk about like a quality of the pulse. They just talking about that's cause this kind of pulse is a qi deficiency. So especially yuan qi deficiency, like a yuan qi couldn't push in the blood circulation, that's a special pulse we call dai pulse. And the thinner pulse, yeah, thin pulse, still means qi deficiency. We know thin pulse right now, mainly we're talking about like a blood deficiency, we're mainly talking about thin pulse. But truly blood circulation, still need a qi moving. If we don't have a qi moving, like the pulse will be thin pulse. So I would like to say thin pulse belong to defensive pulse. Clinically, qi defensive can cause, the blood defensive still can cause. And as boostly pulse, the similar like we talking about the choppy pulse, and smoothly moving, choppy pulse. So in Huang Di Nei Jing, they talking about that's the size of the heart pain. What kind of situation can cause the heart pain? Blood stasis. So that's why right now we're talking about blood stasis 
kind of situation we build piles is the unsmoothly smoothly piles or choppy piles. So hard pain or chest pain that's caused by blood stasis. And uh, large piles, like we talking about before, like we talking about before. Jumping pretty bigger, right? jumping pretty bigger. Like uh, suddenly some water come in, yeah. Pretty over strong, over stronger flowing kind of pulse. That's uh, they talking about. Look like some water rushing up immediately. So that's a pretty stronger kind of situation of illness getting progress. So that's a large pulse. It's not that meaning pulse more strong. It's more zheng qi in there. It means zheng qi fighting is passenger qi. Otherwise, pulse will be pretty smoothly moving there. It's monitored. It's not over strong. And the weaker pulse The beating, yeah, like uh, sometimes coming, sometimes like not coming. It's kind of a choppy pulse, but uh, they still connected in there, but uh, look like not that strong, yeah, look like not that strong. So that kind of pulse truly is a severe kind of condition is that. So that's from the different pulse, we make a diagnosis, how severe of the illness and how the illness development we coming from the pulse. So especially we need thinking about the changing the pulse changing like from the large pulse and then go to particularly weaker pulse. That means very severe kind of condition. People may be dead soon. That means body junction, not able to fight it with passenger chip. So that's uh, we talking about the diagnosis. We talking about the pulse first. That's the first part. We talking about what kind of pulse, what time we taking the pulse, and the pulse different location. We make a diagnosis for upper jaw disorder or lower jaw disorder, and what kind of pulse is kind of a key difference here. What kind of pulse is blood status? And what kind of pulse is more severe kind of condition, even will be dies? Okay, so let's see if we have some questions here. Yeah, sometimes we do channel preparation. Uh, but in Huang Di Neijing, basically this chapter, they didn't talk about the uh, channel population, but truly we can do it. Yeah. yeah, to see if we have more questions in this part. Okay, so now we're moving on to the next part. Next part, we're talking about the colors. Yeah. Like uh, this chapter from the beginning, we say we make diagnosis, we feel the pulse. Yeah, we feel the pulse. 
And also we look in the color. Yeah, we look in the color. We look in the eyes and we look in the nose. Then we look in the color. So we look in the eyes. Basically, we look in for shen. So, jing ming, yeah, jing is essence. Ming is brightness. We say we look in the eyes. We look in for shen. What kind of eyes? We say, patient how shen. It's much bright, yeah, much bright color. And uh, that kind of uh, eyes, like uh, they are pretty like uh, to contact with you. And uh, that's uh, moisture there. So moisture and moisture, that kind of eyes. So that's for looking for eyes for the shen. And then we look in the color of the face. So color of the face, that's basically reflection of our internal organs, like a qi blood level in there. So we say no more people, yeah, no more people. Their skin color may be different, yeah. So when we separate five different kind of people or constitutions, we say we have wood kind of people, we have fire kind of people, we have earth kind of people, and the uh, metal kind of people and the water kind of people from different aspects. Yeah, different aspects. Their face color will follow the five elements. Let will be different. Like a fair kind of people is red color. Earth kind of people is yellow color. Metal is white color, water is black color, wood is green color. So that's we talking about five elements matching with different color. But I must to say the color shown on the face is not truly like usually we talking about the color. It's not that red or not, not that yellow. They just a uh, little bit red or little bit yellow on the face, or maybe little bit white or black. So not truly like a color on the papers. But just gave us some basic idea. Whatever the normal color in there, they should be like a more black and moist, you look like. I just try to give you some explanations by the color. So I pick up some pictures on the night. Just like you compare, yeah. Like if you're talking about the right color, like this side, yeah, this side, they are more bright, yeah, more moisture, more bright, that kind of color, truly on the face, will not that right, yeah. I just gave you some idea here, yeah, so that picture. But this side still more go to right color, but you can see more dry, yeah, more darker, more dry. So that's the, I just give you a picture like you easy understanding. So that measure here still gave us some example. So like uh, if they red color, they like uh, some sick there. 
and not like some doll in there. So this gave some idea. But generally say whatever file color in there, they should be more bright. They should be more moisty, that kind of color. So that's the first one they talking about red color. They what it look like. Yeah, red color what it look like. Like it look like the thick. Yeah, look like a thick. And the other colors pretty similar. The other color pretty similar. So I still gave you a two different picture here. Like they say blue color, just like a draw. Yeah. You can see a lot of light on it. And a smoothly, a lot of light on it. And it's not like these kind of dull, dark kind of blue color in there. So that's the blue color here. Uh, I didn't truly find the by the good picture for white color, but the white color uh, you can you, you may have some idea about ghost uh, figure. Yeah. Uh, so it's not look like a salt. That's everybody get some idea what the salt look like. And uh, what's on the ghost, what uh, they look like. So that's just kind of compare. Still more moisture, more light, that's the normal color. Whatever the people originally color look like. And the yellow color, yeah, yellow color. Uh, we're still talking about more moisting, yeah, more moisty, more smoothly, and it's not a lot of kind of dry, not a lot of kind of dry. So life side always look like a more moisty, more light color there. And the right side always like a kind of dry there. So even black color, uh, even black color, you can compare these two pictures here. So that we still can see this side is more light there. And it's this side is more dry, like a cold there. So that's talking about color. Five different kind of color. What it originally color in there could be normal, but they must be moist here must be something like a color holding inside, superficial, still bright kind of color in there. So that's the face color and the normal like yeah, normal. So that's the talking about five color, relationship with five organs, yeah, especially five, organs. They will hold it, the whole color holding inside. Not totally show up, like directly show up. So show up is more bright. It's more kind of moist in there like a something cover that kind of color if nothing cover there means more no moist no bright color in there so if the color directly show up like uh, we put the color on the right side for five different kind of color if they directly show up that means patient have severe kind of illness. People may be dead soon. Similar like uh, we when we talk about pulse, pulse must be have stomach chi to support. 
without some of the qi kind of power, people will be dancing. So the face color still whatever the original color in there, but they must be bright and moist, like holding the color inside. That kind of color is the normal color. If no moisty, no like a bright covered, that's the color directly show up, thus people will be dense. So that's the face color part, yeah, face color part. To see if we have question in the face color part. Looks good here. Okay. Then we talk about the eyes. So the eyes means we looking for shen, we looking for the ices. People without ices, they will don't have shen. So jing here means ices. So for Chinese, we always put the jing shen together. Yeah. Jing spirit, a uh, jing ices, shen spirit. So we put the jing shen together. So from the eyes, then we know they have spirit or eyes, or they look in the spirit or eyes. So that's uh, we say eyes can see everything because they have eyes. Without eyes, they will couldn't see everything. If patient couldn't look in everything clearly, thus must be some ISIS deficiency or damage. Severe kind of situations, severe kind of situations, their ISIS totally losing. So thus the eyes we look in. So the five thousand organs, they are located inside and they control the function inside or manage it inside. But they have some functions, especially control body functions. Some symptoms maybe show up if they have some disorders. And if patient abdominal feel fullness, abdominal fullness, and then she couldn't like sending go to inside. Thus, uh, people maybe have very severe kind of difficult breathing. And uh, also, it's easily damaged by the fear. Qi uh, difficult breathing. And then the voice is kind of uh, Heavy kind of sound in there. That means tuberous. Yeah, it's not that clear. It's not clear. It's pretty heavy. You can think about some people have sinuses when they talking. Their sound pretty heavy. Yeah, like some people looking, uh, speak in a pretty empty kind of room. That kind of heavy sounds in there. So that's basically, that's middle jiao qi. 
is kind of blocking by some dumbness blocking there. So that's we talking about the still from the symptoms we discuss the problems here. So what's we mainly talking about here? Kind of a spring chi deficiency cause the dumbness. So qi deficiency cause people difficult breathing and the qi is hard to go to inside. And the spring qi deficiency still especially cause the middle jaw fullness and the distension in there. And the dumbness in there make everything is not that clear. So they just list some symptoms in here, especially by middle jaw chi deficiency. They talking about it. They are not especially talking about the spring chi. And the spring chi are regular because dummy, but we know spring chi deficiency itself can cause the dumbness. And uh, another condition, severe kind of uh, sounds, yeah. severe kind of deficiency sounds, fabulous kind of sounds. And uh, also they have some like uh, people speak there and couldn't have chi support their speak. And also severe kind of case, yeah, severe kind of case. Patient, maybe they don't know what they speak out. So that means zheng qi, severe kind of disease. So that's still controlled by the internal organs. So in other words, yeah, in other words, we are here the patient's speech. We know the patient's illness. So that's still we talking about we have four way diagnosis. Looking inspection, we talked about already. We talked about looking the eyes, looking the face. Now we talking about hearing and the smelling. What are we hearing here? We're hearing patients speak. Yeah. We're hearing the sounds. If they pretty heavy, yeah, if they pretty heavy, and uh, then they may have some middle jaw chi deficiency. Thus, maybe some dumbness accumulation and the dumbness blocking there. If the sounds pretty, pretty weaker, and even the speech, they say unconsciousness kind of speech means their speech couldn't be controlled. They don't know what they say. So that means sometimes like they are like uh, talking about one sentence, but just half, they don't know how to say the another half. So that kind of speech. So that's a zheng qi, severe kind of defense. So that's the two conditions, both zheng qi be damaged. Then even more severe kind of condition here. So normally everybody know should we put the clothes, yeah, put be clothes to cover. But these kind of patient take off all the clothes in there and they speak 
like a crazy kind of condition. And uh, even they don't know who is their family members. So that's a truly spirit disorder, yeah, Shen disorder, like a crazy kind of person. So that's basically we talking about from the patients like behaviors, what are they doing? And we know they are have severe kind of disorder for Shen disorders. Then separate here, separate here. Another condition. If the intestine and the stomach, we say their mainly function is to store the food. If they couldn't perform their function, couldn't store the food and the fluid, then diarrhea will be happen. So that means, yeah, that means the dog here means the lower orifice. Losing regulating. We say diarrhea happens like some people coming to a room, yeah, diarrhea happens. We say the mouth, we take off the food and then go to stomach and the small intestine. And finally, they will relieve from the arm. So it is not totally like a digestion and absorption. They go out. That's basically is all diarrhea happen. So in here, in here, we talking about especially for the arms here. That means the dog. They, they are not regulating. Means it's not the time release. They open the door to like everything go out. And if like a people couldn't control the urination, like the bladder couldn't storage, that will give the tubrid. Means they couldn't control the fluid. So that means bladder couldn't control urination people couldn't hold in the urine. So that's we talking about too low orifice and their function. So they should control normally. And they should, we talking about even urine still should be clear kind of urine. So that's we from the symptoms. We know internal organs like uh, what kind of uh, disorder in there. They just gave us some example. So they talking about five zhang organs function. Different zhang organs losing their functions. They will have different uh, symptoms. So thus they just gave us an example two different organs, but truly each of the zhang organs, they have their special function. If they couldn't perform their normal functions, they will cause the disorder. And the severe kind of disorder will be cause the patient death. So that's talking about some sick or severe kind of situations. 
if the five thousand organs, yeah, we're still talking about five thousand organs. Mainly, is the foundation of the body. If their body strong, their function strong, body will be strong. And then talking about separately, the height. The height is the place of ISIS holding. So what are we talking about here? So we talking about the brain. We know the brain, uh, so we say we, we coming from this side, go kidney, control the bone. For holding the marrow. So brain is the sea of the marrow. We say brain is the actual ordinary organs. So they talking about height here. Basically, they talking about the brain's function here. So that kind of essence and the brain relationship is here. So if we find someone, the head dripping down, unable to write, and the eyes is pretty downies, and uh, no loose teeth. No moisture, no litter there, and even shunting inside without light. Thus, we say people without eyes and spirit. So that means severe kind of eyes and spirit defense. We use the collapse. So that's talking about the height part, height part. Then we're talking about the back part. The back part is the holes of the chest. So basically, we're talking about the five thousand organs holding in the chest part. So if some people, if some people, like their bite back and the shoulders, so that's they say, like a patient, they couldn't standing strangely. So that kind of people, basically they couldn't hold in their internal organ in the proper positions. So that's they say will be dangerous. Damage and severe kind of illness. So we, we pretty easily to see some old people they walking like this, or even they standing like this, means they couldn't hold in their sound organs properly because their back couldn't strand in. And then the vast area, yeah, lower back area, yeah, lower back area. Lower back area is the host of the kidney. So if they couldn't turn around, yeah, back, vice, if they couldn't turn around, that's their normal function. So the kidney is damaged. So that's the formal three different parts externally 
steal from inspections without some basic idea what happens internally. So head part is holding the assets and the chest part holding internal organs, basically is upper jaw or maybe including some middle jaw organ there. And the vice part is uh, the host of the kidney. So if the lower part have disorder, that's a kidney disease. We found different part of body, you may know internal organs. Then the knee. Knee is the host of the sinner. So if patient like uh, have some knee disorder, like if they put in the binding, difficult walking, that means sinner's disorder. And the ball holding the marrows. If people couldn't stand it for a long time, long time, and even shocking in the walking, that's bones disorder. Bone, severe kind of disease. So that means different part relationship with internal different organs. Certainly, uh, sinners we say does no relationship with the liver, bone more relationship with the kidney. So which is from patients' symptoms. We know how stronger of the organs functions. So we make it their function strong. That means their internal organs is strong. If they are weaker, if they are weaker and pretty long term losing the functions, that patient finally will be dying. So that's still from superficial function, organs functions, we look in internal organs, how stronger it is. So that's in this chapter, in this chapter, first part, we talking about diagnosis. We are inspection with some external symptoms to look in internal symptoms. Uh, Qi Bo said, we have four season pulse. So now we're moving to the pulse part. Four season pulse. Uh, in the spring season, the pulse is the tenth here. And in the summer pulse is four. In the autumn, pulse is more floating. In the winter, the pulse is uh, more deeper. So that's in the uh, before chapter, when we talk about the pulse, we discuss the pulse. So basically here, just talking about if not follow, uh, if not hold follow, otherwise, if the pulse, is lodging, it's like, uh, like, like we talking about before. Pulse pretty stronger in there. That's basically is excessive condition. When pulse is smaller, it's basically is kind of deficiency. We're talking about the pulse jumping there means zheng qi fighting with passenger qi. Passenger strong, zheng qi strong, pulse is larger. Passenger still in there, but zheng uh, qi is not that strong. So that means qi deficiency, pulse not jumping that strongly. So in the condition of excessive, the pulse, 
the pulse should be bigger and superficial. So that's we talking about here. Basically, we talk about EPI. External passenger evading. Pulse is bigger and floating. If it not bigger, not floating, it got to smaller. So that means, that means we talking about passenger qi is strong, but the zheng qi is weaker. Yeah, body zheng qi is weaker. It's not able to fight in its passenger qi. And if, yeah, if the pulse we talking about in the case of intonation, the pulse should be like a smaller. And that kind of condition, like the pulse, yeah, pulse is too big and floating. That means the like uh, anti passenger chi is a severe kind of damage. So these two conditions, yeah, these two conditions, uh, we give a special words here. We call guan ge, both means close, yeah, means not community each other. So that means yin and yang qi not truly community each other, not able to support each other. So basically in this page mainly talking about our qi, uh, zheng qi fighting with passenger qi. They should be marching if passenger strong. Zheng qi should be strong. And the pulse basically is the stronger in there. If the zheng qi is weaker and the passenger still in there, maybe the pulse is not that strong. So that's basically if not community each other. So that's we talking about the pulse not marching with illness. So that's qi and the blood kind of debase. This kind of yin yang not marching each other. So that's we call guan ge. So that's basically talking about the pulse marching with the Illness. Then Huang Di asked, how the pulse changing follow the fall season? And how to locate the illness from the pulse? And how from the pulse know the passenger changing? Lots of scratches here. How know the illness, like is internally or in the externally from the pulse? So that's totally five questions here, totally five questions here. So still asking about the pulse, the pulse questions. So then cheaper answers, uh, so like less explanation for you. So people's yin yang is relationship with the nitros. Everything relationships with nitros. Uh, liu he liu is sick. Liu he here means six directions. Yeah, from the east, south, west. Nose 
and the upper down. So totally together is six directions. So we live in means in the universe. Yeah. So everything, everybody living in the universe will follow the universe, like the heaven or earth, yin and the yang. So that's the human beings. We should march it. Yeah, we should march it. So that's why our pulse marching with the nature also. So in the spring season, it's uh, more warming. In the summer, it's more hot. It's autumn, it's more windy. It's winter, it's more cold. So that's the nature. So the pulse changing marching with the different seasons. So in the spring season, the pulse uh, will be slightly varied, thus marching with the spring season. In the summer, it's a little bit bigger, yeah, enlarging. And in the fall, the pulse is more flighting to superficial. In the winter, the pulse more sinking to the internal line. So that's like a marching for the yin yang changing for four seasons. So the 45 days from winter, winter solitudes. to the beginning of the spring. So that season we talk about 24 solid team before, that's the one solid team there. So Yang Qi gradually coming, yeah, Yang Qi gradually coming, and the Yin Qi gradually descending. That's the season changing. And then the other 45 days, from the summer solstice to the beginning of the autumn, the yin qi is gradually ascending and the yang qi gradually descending. So that's the yin yang circle in here. This side is the yang qi ascending. Yeah. And this side is yang qi descending. Certainly, yin qi is the opposite way. So that's for different seasons. We're talking about the changing. So these kind of yin yang changing, they have their ruler. So people's pulse changing will be marching with the pulse, like a yin yang changing there. If not, Marching, thus must be illness. The illness will be happened. So then we see the like uh, what kind of changing in there, and then make a diagnosis. Is like uh, how the illness development, how the illness like uh, we can be cured. So that we can make a decision from the house conditions. So everything, yeah, everything we say, we're looking for the pulse so everything, every small changing, we can come in from the past. So that means we must be specially, carefully for examination. So when we look in the past, we need to follow some ruler. What's the ruler of the past? So basically ruler of the past, yin, yang, and the changing. 
So that's the reflections, the channels, and also relationship with five elements. So these kind of follow yin yang changing. Basically, we follow the four seasons yin yang changing. So if yeah, if we people uh, know the yin yang changing and the balance the yin yang changing, we need the matching with nitros and the matching with everything like the five elements, five colors, five different sounds. So that's also matching for the yin yang changing. So that's in this part. We're talking about the pulse. We're talking about the pulse. So let's see, we have some questions here. Yeah, some questions here, uh, like, uh, if the air condition or heater are uh, affected the environment, uh, the pulse will not match in the season. Will be affected in some way. Yeah, will be affected in some way. Yeah, yeah. So that's uh, we talking about like in the pretty cold winter, but you, your whole day go to inside the room and with the heater there. Truly, your pulse might be floating, but it's not totally floating like the summer. Yeah. It will be affected something. Yeah. yeah, to see we have more questions in this part. Okay, now we go to next part. Uh, next part, a little bit interesting. Uh, talking about the dreams. Uh, so these, uh, basically, we, we learn Huang Di Neijing here. Uh, maybe some people have different idea like uh, about the dreams. But uh, we just get uh, some understanding what uh, they're talking about in Huang Di Neijing about the dreams. Uh, so talking about the dreams, yeah. So sometimes the dreams can help us make a diagnosis for people's illness. So this part look like we are not truly talking about in TGM right now. But truly in Huang Di they mention some dreams. So if patient, uh, if patient, uh, in qi excessive, yeah, inside excessive, they may dreams uh, like uh, some water, yeah, crossing the water. So that's uh, if uh, you me you dreams for crossing the water, that means in excessive. And if yang excessive. Young excessive, usually people feel hot. Yeah. That's maybe lending people dreams like a burning the fire. So that's yin and yang. And if yin yang both excessive, they will be dreams fighting each other and injured. And if yang excessive in the upper part of the body, dream will be people fly. And if yin excessive, that's dreams will be falling down in the lower part. Yeah, yin excessive in the lower part. So people will be dreams falling down. And if the dreams like give other people's food, that means some food retention. 
because like uh, they for the retention there, they try to give some to others. If people like uh, hungry, like uh, gyms will be taking food. And if uh, liver chi excessive, uh, gyms will like angry with other people. And uh, if lang qi can access it, dreams will be cry. Lang control the sadness. People easily to cry when they access it. If the dreams like a uh, lot of people together, thus maybe have some warmth in intestine. If the dreams of uh, like uh, fighting each other, thus means still some uh, warmth, but they say long warmth. If they getting each other, that's the short warmth. But whatever, lot of people like uh, together, that's the warmth in the intestine. So that's the part in Huang Di Neijing about the dreams. I know in China, some people specially explanation for the dreams. So this part, maybe different people have different idea. Uh, some people like say don't believe it, but uh, some some dreams, uh, some dreams look can look can the pretty make sense. Yeah, pretty make sense. So that's uh, for these chapters for the dreams.